Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to the next episode. This is our uh, this is our journeyman save. Had to think about it for a second. Uh, we are currently at Bolin Lusk in the Ukraine, and uh, the game pulled a fast one on me. I had uh, rejected several contract offers, and then uh, I haven't played in uh, over a week uh, with the passing of my mom and everything. So you know, it's been, it's been a been a been a tough, tough, tough two weeks, let me tell you. Um, but uh, I'm recording this on Friday. Uh, we had the funeral for my mom on Tuesday. And I just went back to work yesterday, and then uh, my boss talked to me last night, and he told me to take a personal day today because he could tell just my uh, my brain's not, uh, not in the right place. Uh, and he said he understood, but, uh, you know, so that was nice of him. Uh, anyway, just catching up. Uh, we uh, last episode was the uh, Euro Cup two knockout round, second round. Uh, so since then, we beat uh, Lviv four uh, nil. Carlos Vera with a hat trick. Terras Lyelka with a goal. Uh, Karan Marais a five nil win over them in the Ukrainian Cup quarterfinal. And we've got goals from Lucas Meyer, Anton Mazarenko, Anton Radionov, Terras Lyelka. And, uh, k k yeah, Eugene. Eugene scored a goal. And uh, then we beat Zoria 4-0. And this was a costly game. Carlos Vera got hurt in this one. Uh, Teruya scored another goal. Mish Caleb scored a brace. And Tarashenko scored a goal. But we do lose Vera. And that is going to hurt. Let's pop into the medical center. Uh, Vera suffered uh, broken ribs and he will be out uh, nine weeks we send him to a specialist to uh, hopefully get that fixed uh, Yarmolenko our starting right back uh, he suffered a hernia in training and he's got about three weeks left on the shelf uh, he, we've already been without him for about a week so uh, that in fact that happened on April 1st and it was not an April Fool's joke so uh, taking a look at the competitions uh, we are currently second behind Shakhtar by three points. Still playing well. Uh, three defeats. And then uh, we're in the quarterfinal first leg against Zenit. That's who we're going to be playing today. Uh, we'll look at the first round highlights in just a second. And then we'll play the second leg on camera. And then we will be in the semifinal for the Ukrainian Cup against Dynamo Kiev. And that will take place later in the month. Board's pretty happy with everything. Uh, let's see. I wanted to kind of jump in here. We've got an A plus grade on the head coach performances, so you can see that. There's our dynamics. Everything's looking pretty solid. Uh, it pop into the hierarchy. Uh, Bidney is our team leader, and we have 20 players that support us. And the only one that doesn't have a, a real opinion is uh, Teruya, and I think he's relatively new. Uh, yeah, we just signed him for 3.7, and he's made six appearances. So, uh, And he's temperamental. So, eh. Carabella's just come back from injury, but he's still not Matt Sharp. So we'll have to see about fitting him in. Uh, but he is, uh, you know, he will play uh, a good bit. So we'll build him back up. And what else? What else? Oh, I know what else. Uh, let's see. Under 19s, is that the one? I believe so. A lot of these 15 and 16 year olds are the guys that we just signed from our youth intake. So that's going on there. Uh, we do have, these are the guys we're not signing. So, but everybody else we signed. So we signed about 10 players, uh, all with full three star potential or higher. So, uh, we did bring in a pretty pretty decent class of youth uh, youth intake. But anyway, let's come right back for the highlights here. All right, jumping into the highlights here. They played a 4-4-1-1. And we start off, we're in the white corner to the near post. Goes to the back post with a flick on header. And Philip Camps puts it in at the back post, giving us a 1-0 advantage. And then early in the second half, 
<laughs> Long throw drops in, and Teruyar, number 10, is there, and he slots at home, our little temperamental guy that doesn't have an opinion on us, and we beat them 2-0 in the home leg, which is good. Didn't give up a goal, so there's no away goals, and we're pretty happy with that. So we are going to put the arm around. His passing was really good, 11 key passes. So that's that. I've got one... I've got one match against Carpati to play off camera, and then we'll be back with uh, the Zenit, high, uh, Zenit game. We'll see you guys back for that in just a second. All right, we're back for match day. Just wanted to show you the Carpati score, 5-0 in that one. Uh, Tarashenko uh, with a goal, Camps with a brace, Mikhailov and Teruya scores again. That's what, one, two, three, well, three in a row. Oh, it was Lyolka that had gotten on the score sheet in a couple of these games. But teruya has been real hot lately, scoring out of that number 10 spot. And uh, so 5-0. Also, want, I got an email, and I'm going to jinx myself here, I know. But uh, this was eight matches in a row with clean sheets. Uh, and that is a new club record. So we are really in good form. But let's get into today's match. It's the second leg against Zenit in the quarterfinal, second round, second left quarterfinal second leg you, you guys know what i mean just you know i'm just trying to keep up with you guys all right so we're going with uh heidenreich in goal furlong radinov Vigny, and tarasenko on the back line krachinsky mazarenko lyolka in the mid teruya in the number 10 and camps and robinson up top vera's on the shelf still as is yarmolenko he's out for about another 10 days Eight weeks for Vera, so he's going to be out for quite a spell. So uh, <clears throat> we really need Robinson to stay healthy, and we need Camps to really step up. Now, Camps has 13 goals, and uh, Robinson has 15, but Vera had 32. So these guys are combined, but, you know, that's still, that's a 60-goal 60 60 goal line. So I guess it's not doing too bad, right? All right, we're going to submit the team. Let's get to it. Go to match. Yeah, again, you know, if I'm, if I just don't see myself, I hope you guys understand. It's just, uh, and I tell you what, if you've, if you've lost a parent, let me know, you know, let me know how you dealt with it. I mean, you know, I've dealt with loss, but this is the first parent that I've lost. Uh, and it's different. It's, it's, uh, it's much different from anything else I've ever experienced. Um, I, I think the closest, the closest I could feel would be, and I don't want to talk about it too much. I'll start crying on camera, and that's nobody wants that. <laughs> uh oh, all right, Zenit. Oh boy, they look dangerous here in the early going. Um was back in 2017 when my uh when my son had cancer and uh that was you know that was brutal um i think a child is probably the worst but this uh you know of course he didn't pass away there's a big shot and it's teruya again his fifth of the season he's turning out to be a really big signing for us and that makes it 3-0 plus an away goal so that means they've got to, what, score four and beat us 4-1 today? I think we've set ourselves up nicely. Um, but, yeah, that's uh, – but this has just been – it's been hard. Um, you know, and it's still early, still early days. Boy, that was an interesting uh, thing there. 40-yard uh, – Pass, cross, chip in, I don't know. Robinson into Camps, and Camps slots at home. There's his 14th, and the two strikers pair up to put us up 2-0. 4 to nothing on aggregate. Very nice partnership there. Two shots, two on target, two goals out of a .42 XG. Nothing wrong with that. Erlong picks up a yellow.
We were seeing a lot of uh, Zenit highlights there in the early going, but we uh, we've kind of turned the game around. Over the top, Robinson. Oh, and he just slots it wide of the mark. Oh, that's got to be in the back of the net. That has just got to be put away. Oh, there it is. And another one knocked away by the keeper. Does set up a corner. Rachinsky, near post, cleared away. Oh, there's a big tackle. Counter opportunity. Luckily, we've got a couple of guys back, but they've got two people coming ahead. Let's, uh, let's tell them to... Let's tell them to focus. I didn't really see anybody, but at this point, it's still early. I mean, we're not even at halftime yet, so we don't want to fall apart. And we've seen, maybe not in this save, but we have seen me uh, <laughs> definitely uh, camps, put the left peg on it, got it on target, forced the save. But we've certainly seen me collapse in second halves. So we don't want to encourage that. All right, Kuczynski gets another corner. They're looking good. Oh, was that a trip? No. Okay, I thought maybe there was a stoppage there for a penalty, possibly. Looks like he got all ball. Then we've got Zenit on the attack here. Good defense. Oh, nice little flick on header. Camps does a good job to hold it up. And we are looking good. Looking pretty solid. Kaczynski's looking a little tired here at the half. We'll see how much he re rebounds from that. We've got possession, 87% pass completions, 1.26 to 0 0.09 on the XG, 5 of 6 on target. I'm liking that. Let's, uh, let's hands together. Yeah, don't let that happen. Motivated. Good, good. They pull a double sub at the half. We're going to probably sub off Kaczynski here pretty quickly. He'll be one of the first two that we're going to that we're going to pull off. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and make the sub. Let's bring on Tarashenko for him. Nice little flick away header by the fullback there. That was nice. And then played up to Robinson. Crossed into Camps. Oh, he hits the woodwork. I wonder if they had money on that. He's like, I bet you guys five bucks I can hit the woodwork on an open goal. Heidenreich comes out on that and gets caught flat-footed. Is there an offsides? The linesman has not moved. And it's offsides. Disallowed. Nice. Okay. Heidenreich came out for that and just... Yeah, he he just... And then, and then he fell. <laughs> he pulled a Jack Grealish. Oh, my God. My keeper pulls a Grealish to try to not look so bad. He, he looked so bad being flat-footed, and then he just collapsed after the ball went in the goal. That's that's hilarious. All right, let's go ahead and pull off uh, Lyoka on the right wing. We'll bring on Carabella. Now Carabella has not played in a while, and he's one of the he's the guy coming back from injury. Definitely needs some match fitness, but he should be able to play a little bit here, right? All right, Robinson controls it, turns it upfield. And that gets blasted out into the stands by Sterick. 
Yeah, we don't do that. I ignore those. Marcelo Bielsa never pulls players off because they might get another yellow card. And, yes, that's going to count. All right, so there's an away goal. But we're up 4-1 on aggregate. Looks like Furlong missed that ball. He had a shot to put a header on it. Uh, Robinson took a knock. What's, uh, what's going on with him? Uh, let's, uh, a slight injury, a tight calf. It's a little early, but, you know, we don't want to risk him. So let's bring on, we have McCaleb and Kavartziani. 19 years old. And... 27 years old. Good first touch. I like his stamina and work rate better. Let's give him the shot. I mean, we've got the goals. We can put the younger guy in. <clears throat> Poor clearance. That goes right into Tarasenko. I hope he's all right. Carabella, there's a play by the new new guy on the pitch. Very good. And there is the sub. Did you see the little t ticker there? It said that he had finished his warm-up. So I guess maybe they do factor in a warm-up period because he did not come right into the match. So I wonder if that is something that they added that you know we really haven't noticed where there's a, uh, a mandatory warm-up period before they can officially come on the pitch it's possible all right Teruya, he's all the way up what a run crossed in and Varziani. yeah i think that counts there we go So it's not his debut, it's his eighth goal of the season, but it's the younger player. Camps, very nice, just a little flick down header, right into Cavarziani. 3-1, 5-1 on aggregate. Things are going well. Oh, and he was looking for a second goal there already. And Heidenreich comes out and makes a diving stop on that ball. A flick on header. Varziani. <laughs> He's already had three shots on target. Gee whiz. He's like, why aren't you playing me more, boss? That would be because we have uh, a 32 goal scorer in front of you. Possibly, I you know that's that's possibly why you're not playing as much. <laughs> oh my goodness! A uh, push by Camps, oh, dirty player, dirty player. Looking for the whistle here. Final minute. Tarasenko. Plays it short to Carabella. He gets another corner for us. No? And the whistle. I, th I thought that was a corner, but there we go. So we uh 3.12 to 0 0.74 and a 3-1 tally on the final score sheet. And we are going to go outstretched arms, really special. Motivates everybody. Fantastic result, defended well, a brilliant all-around performance, so proud. Incredible performance from Tarasenko, just how important is he to Bolin? Tarasenko, fantastic performance. Very good, very good. So we win the quarterfinal. Robinson, okay, he's only out one to two days, so that's good. We pick up a little over a half a million dollars for that, so that's great. And we will play FC Nantes 
in the semifinals. Where are they out of? They're from Ligue 1 in France, all right? Uh, that could be a tough one. That could be a tough one. Tarasenko, six key passes. So let's go ahead and put our arm around him. Praise his passing. And I think that's going to be it for today. We'll come back. Uh, we'll have highlights from uh, the semifinal in the Ukrainian Cup. And then we'll have highlights from the away leg. And then we'll show the home leg uh, against Nantes. And that will be next episode, day after tomorrow. So we'll see you guys then. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Don't tune into my Twitch because I don't stream on Twitch. <laughs> I just felt obligated. I, I, you know, the guys I watch, it's always I stream five five thousand times a week. Watch, you know. Uh, so I felt obligated to throw in a. I don't know. I just felt obligated. That was probably really stupid. Sorry about that. Hit the like, subscribe. Thanks a lot. See you guys. Bye.